up today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the July 31st, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Let's have an extraordinary weekend, an extraordinary life, an extraordinary everything. And how do we do that? Well, the easiest way is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can always let those fingers do the walking. Send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, and of course, in our tiger's den. Well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we've got a mixed bag out here. The only mix in it is you've got the NASDAQ, both the composite and the NDX 100 that are trading higher. Whereas the Dow's off 258, the S&P 18, the Russell's down 32, big loser. Uh, semis are off 33 points, about 1.5% out there. You've got gold up 22 bucks, silver 93 cents. Uh, lights, we crude is up a dime. Natural gas is back three pennies, leading the charge dollar-wise. To the upside, it's Amazon up 115 bucks, nearly 4%. Mettler Toledo International up 47 bucks, 5%. Apple's up 25. Goosehead Industries is up 20 or 24%. Kinsale Capital Group is up 20 bucks. To the downside is Google, $76 to the downside. Booking Holdings off 55. Tesla's down 44. Shopify's off 26. So there's certainly things to look at, but we've got some requests here. And let me try to incorporate. There's a request uh, from Ruby who's asking about the. Um, the NQ, she's taken, I guess, a long position here most recently. And so we'll take a look at that. Odin Obanaga wants to take a look at a 30-minute time frame chart for the IBB. So we're going to do that. So let's uh, let's start by taking a look at the general markets and incorporate the NQ here. So, again, during the uh, the 1, 1 p.m. update, we looked at the TAS market profiles. In summary, here's what we know. The Russell 2000, arguably one of the weakest indices at this stage here, is tested. It's, it's had a wide-ranging bar today. It's tested both the top of its profile and rejected it and the bottom of its profile and rejected it. Uh, boy, if anything smells like a consolidating market, I would have to say it is it. So right now, it's pretty much in bullish to neutral position. You need to see a close below 1454 to change that. It does have a topping pattern uh, way back here. That top took uh, place, I believe, on June the 9th out there. So just uh, we've seen a little counter trend rally since that high. Uh, inside the uh, Dow, equity future contract, it has not made a lower low from yesterday. That's always a signal of something. I'm not sure what it's a signal of. Yes, I do. It hasn't broken through yesterday's low. Now, whereas the ES and the NQ have taken out yesterday's high, yes, they've given back some of those gains, but they're right up there where the sellers were at. We knew that, 10.862 and 32.67. Okay, so then what does that say? How do we, how do we, con so we've got mixed messages out here because the Dow is actually trading below the bottom of its profile. So let's take a look at the NQ. Uh, since that's what uh, uh, since that's really kind of the lead dog out here and Ruby has taken a long position. Let's help her try to uh, justify that. Now, here's a five minute time frame chart. Ruby, I don't know what time frame it is that you're using to make your decisions. It would be the five minute time frame that would be about the shortest that I could go to in the five minute time frame. I've got wave number seven. That's letter G. 
I've got a Rose Momentum Indicator bottom pattern. That was confirmed with a bullish engulfing candle. So on the very short-term time frame, the answer is yes. You have a you have a pattern that says you can take that long position. Now, what price is going to do in the five-minute time frame, it's going to deal with its resistance levels. Those resistance levels are 10,746, the bottom of that profile, 10,763, and 10,781. If the NQ can get above, close above 10,781, the five-minute time frame chart is telling you that it wants to get to 10,926. All right. Ruby doesn't use the five-minute chart. She uses the 15-minute chart. So now let's go take a look at it. On a 15-minute time frame, what do we have? Well, what we have is a, a Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom. That's assuming that at 115, it's now 111. So we got about three and a half minutes. That is still ends up being a bullish reversal candle. So it's got wave number seven. That's letter G in the way that Stevie looks at it. It's either G or C out there. But that doesn't really matter because you've got the Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom pattern out there. And uh, here you should see price get up to about 10,758. That's Stevie's red line out there. If price can close above 10,758, then that's telling you, Ruby, on a 15-minute basis to stay with the long position. But otherwise, right now, you need to know that Stevie's red line, that is your real counter trend resistance level inside the NQ. I don't know which, whether the buyers, whether price is going to be able to take that level out or not. But if you get a test and rejection, because you got in earlier below where price is trading right now, I, I think it did. I, actually, I don't know what the exact price is where you're in. I don't need to know that. Um, but if you get a test and rejection there, and then certainly a close back below the bottom of that 15-minute profile at 10.734. That's telling you it's likely headed lower out there. Whereas if price can overtake that, then you're looking at on a 15-minute time frame, 10.795, 10.856. So I hope that helps you out. That's your time frame. Different picture. If we take a look at daily, I don't want to mess you up or anything like that. I think this is enough here for you to just focus on and uh, go ahead and uh, trade accordingly. So watch that 10.758-ish area. And again, if you can get it close above that, well, then that is a signal that price wants to uh, continue to move higher out here. I've got to get control of my uh, my uh, my uh, my mouse out there. Well, that didn't sound right, did it? Um, now, let's go uh, Oda, Oda Nobunaga. Uh, Oda, I, you know, flipping through the channels last night, watching, uh, flipping through baseball, hockey. What else did they have out there on last night? It's kind of getting boring. I'm kind of getting tired of, of looking at uh, cutout figures in the uh, in the background. Although the Mets have done it right, I mean they they loaded up that stadium, city city was it city field out there. They loaded up that park with uh, cardboard cutouts. But uh, so uh, so the point was, I was flipping through the stations, and and of course my favorite movie. Uh, of course, this is the remake of my favorite movie. Midway was on, and hi, you can't you can't not watch it. Well, you can, unless you're me. And the only way to not watch it would be, uh, well, I don't know, the good, the bad, and the ugly or something would be on another channel. And then, of course, we'd have to turn to that or, you know, there's nothing like a good Clint Eastwood movie. But that's not what Oda Nobunaga asked me about. He asked me about the IBB. So, And he wants to know specifically about the 30-minute time frame chart for the IBB for the heck of it. Blanks and giggles out here. Let's just put the IBB up on our screen out here. Oh, and voila. I took up so much time, we're not even going to get to the 30-minute time frame chart until we get back. But here's what we know, Oda, on a daily basis. Price is below the bottom of its profile, 136.60. And this is telling us that price wants to head to 129.45. But let's try to confirm that with the 30-minute uh, time frame chart when we uh, get back from this break. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, we were looking at the IBB, the 30-minute time frame chart out here, and uh, for one of our dinners, oh, no blue nug. And, uh, and he was asking if there was any kind of bottom signal, and voila, there is. So we've got two, we've got double Gs out here. Um, if you're watching this on Tiger TV, you're going to see a red and a blue G out here. So it's part of the Chapman Wave tools that I've automated here on the uh, chart. And uh, so you definitely have a, a bottom signal. You also have two different hammer candles. Now, it's a 30-minute time frame. So we know that the market um, is trying to, on a 30-minute basis, trying to form some type of a bottom out here. Price must close above 134.19 right now. That's Stevie's red line to suggest a further rally. The rally uh, resistance area would be 137.43 out there. But the, again, the daily time frame is not looking so good. Um, you know, you've closed below support, and that would say that that really where price is likely targeted is 129.45. That is the bottom of its uh, weekly profile out there. So I hope that that helps you out. Uh, thanks so much for the request out here. We've got another request. Coming. I'm on my door now out there. Um, call back. Okay. So, folks, I'm going to go off the air here for a, a moment so that we can uh, so that we can get the audio. Hopefully, we can get the audio uh, a little bit better. It's not, not because of the uh, hurricane because uh, skies are beautifully. Anyways, let me let me hang up. There we go. Okay, hopefully this is uh, better. Maybe a couple of thumbs up. Uh, Boston Dan, I dropped every single coin that I've got in the uh, in this machine, <laughs> literally. But uh, so let's take a look at Ericsson ADR. Hopefully uh, we can hear each other out here. And so the question is, can we look at it a uh, long term? So Dennis G wants to look at a long term. Here's what we know right now: it's consolidating. Dennis in between 11.22 as support. 
and resistance at 1193. That's the daily time frame. Above resistance on the weekly, above resistance on the monthly. But we need to go take a look at uh, Eric and see if there's any kind of top signals out here where it is that it may be headed to. Look for some resistance levels. Where did it most recently break down? Let's see if we can even find any of those things out here. So on the daily time frame, do we have a top? And the answer is uh, no, it says show charts. Okay, so this is always helpful when you restart in the uh, den out here. So let's see, is that it? Yeah, you guys should be, gals, should be looking at uh, Eric out here. And uh, I don't have a uh, topping pattern uh, per se on the daily time frame. So let's uh, go switch over to the uh, weekly, see what we can see out here for it. Um, do we see any kind of a topping signal? No. A wave number four, letter D, you can see some type of a pullback, uh, but no, nothing there. Uh, two weeks ago was the real big significant buy. couple of things. One, price tested Stevie's green line. That typically happens when it changes color. It did. You don't know how long. It took about six weeks to do that, but that six-week test was beautiful. A test rejection move, and then it also closed above Stevie's other green line, the horizontal green line, the TD9 count breakdown level. That was your resistance area out here. So the weekly looks pretty good. Um, there's an A to B equals CD that we could draw in. I've got to go back to my other system. The monthly is really where we would draw that in. We don't really need to do that. Let me just share with you, Dennis, that everything, and you're asking long term, everything is signaling to us that this wants to make a move to 1314. You're at 1149. Not that it can't get above that, but that is your next resistance level. The resistance level above that would be 1482. So 1314 and 1482 would appear to be your targets. Now, just out of curiosity, we're passing the B point with, uh, and the question is, are we doing it with volume on a monthly basis? Well, the swing point was April of 2019, 135 million. You're at 300 four yeah so this is looking pretty good so if you are long uh this instrument eric just know you're consolidating and uh, you'd only have a slight problem if it closed below 1122 well, i can't say slight you'd only have a problem if it closed below 1122 for two days in a row out there that would be suggesting price would be headed higher um let's see any other questions in the den i don't think so but if i've overlooked something Please let me know what I overlooked. Let's go to Hector and the fuel injectors out here on a Friday. And uh, nothing like injecting some fuel on a Friday out here. Hector wants to take a look at Citigroup. He said uh, Citigroup has been in a nice tight trading range since the uh, middle of June. Any signs of life to nibble on this? for a long-term hold. So if we take a look at Citigroup, it's uh, trading right now below the bottom of its daily profile. Now, this is just day one. We don't know if it'll close below it, but Hector, one of the levels to be watching is that area, 49.76 or 49.52. And you're asking about nibbling. So, you know, if it breaks support and you get it for two days, well, then the nibble says, yeah, maybe 36.88 to 41.75. Holy shnikes. It's trading at 49. Bucks. What do you mean, forty-one seventy-five to thirty-six eighty-eight? Well, just from a profile standpoint, just from a profile standpoint, you guys didn't hear me slurp my water, did you? Really? I hope not. I hope not. Um, if we take a look at uh, where I was coming up with those figures from uh, Hector and uh, Patty, uh, the resistance level is fifty-one fifty-one on the weekly base. We can see how that is held strongly for the last three weeks out here. And so then, if we just look at those profile levels, forty-one seventy-five, thirty-six eighty-eight would be the numbers. That's only if you see two closes below the bottom of that daily profile. Now let's switch over and take a look at. Well, that's Eric. We want to take a look at uh, C City Group out here. So. Let's see if we can get that in there. Expand out the charts. Let this thing do all of its calculations. You know, folks, when I'm putting in a symbol here, what it's doing, let alone the literally hundreds of charts that I've got in the background, um, it's doing all of its calculations for the uh, special tools that Stevie has up here. So we understand what the wave count is from a Chapman wave standpoint. You can see that just populated uh, from the standpoint of what are the TD counts and Where's the breakout, breakdown, resistance level? So here's your problem with, si with inside of uh, C, Citicorp, is that breaking or closing below the bottom of that daily profile, there is no other level of support that I've got, any real key level. I can go take a look at gaps and this and that, but no real what I'll call a key level of support out here. 
that would say March lows. And so that would be saying no nibbling allowed. I want you to be the great white shark out here. Now, with regard to the weekly time frame chart, and you were talking about a long term hole, but you got to get the daily right, you know, to get into that long term out here. The weekly is saying maybe there's support around 47, 46. That is Stevie's red line. Was there a top out here that we've got? Yeah, there was a, uh, a sell the D point. There was a Gartley sell pattern that formed out here. Now, I can't draw in the A to B equals CD. Visually, you can see it. Your A point down here was on bar number nine of that TD nine count. Your B point out here was on the trading day. It looks like May 1st out here. This is weekly. Then a couple of weeks, a two a two week uh, pullback, if you will, a knee jerk reaction to May 15th. And then you had that uh, A to B equals CD complete really on June the 5th. The completion took place on June the 12th when that bearish dark cloud cover candle. So this is suggesting to us, Hector, that price is going to go back and test at least 47 46 but if you see it close below that on a weekly time frame that's when the other 36 88 41 75 areas could come into play on a monthly time frame we're finishing out the month what do we know about that last month price got up tested and rejected stevie's red line remember when that line changes colors there's a phenomena associated with it and i'd love to tell you why i just can't tell you why i just know that it happens out there very much like electricity i throw the switch and usually the electricity comes on now if you take a look at the monthly time frame chart out here well we've got to go to a break we'll be right back Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that will take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Before we were brutally cut off by the uh, commercial. 
time frame out there. We were talking about the monthly time frame chart for a uh, city out here. And what we were what I was about to share with you was uh, and we talked about this in one of the charts we were looking at earlier. So when Stevie's green line or red line changes color out there, it tells us about an impending test of price in that level out here. And that test is usually what generates the signal, the buy signal or the sell signal. And last month, uh, uh, so this is a long-term uh, test out here, that was the test and rejection. So even here, the signal is uh, that the city wants to move lower. Now, 38.31, that's its uh, monthly breakout level that held this support uh, during the uh, move lower. And that would be an area that you would take a look at. So you're looking for the long trade out here and uh, watch the daily time frame. That will then generate the signals to let you know on a weekly basis if this is headed lower. And then we'll just have to watch how price is reacting as those areas get approached. Is volume contracting? Is volume accelerating? Is there any other pattern that is going on at the same time out there? So uh, that's what I see or that's what the charts see when we take a look at the uh, city out here. Um, we just for to help Ruby out uh, because we we're taking a look at the NQ or maybe just uh, folks to help manage the trade out here because we're looking at a short term time frame and we're doing this live. Always nice to uh, help out each of you tigers and tigresses. So it's the 15 minute chart that Ruby was using. Now she entered a long trade here. Uh, can we justify? Well, we already went through this. We could because there's two bottoming patterns. Wave number seven, that's letter G and then the roads momentum indicator. We knew that once we got that bottoming signal, we knew that it was a bottoming signal because the, the cavalry arrived. You always wait for a bullish or a bearish reversal candle to form. That's how you know that at least the um, offense or defense is trying to take a position out here. Then we need to understand where Stevie's red line is. We can see that price has not been above Stevie's red line, red or green line out here, uh, since uh, 830 this morning. And Ruby is long. And on that last 15-minute bar, remember, we always want to see two 15-minute bars take out a level of support or resistance. Resistance is Stevie's red line. Price closed over that on a 15-minute basis. That was at 130. So now if at 145, price is over that. And by the way, Ruby, there's now a new profile for you on the 15-minute time frame. So now you've got another level to take a look at. That would be resistance. Next up on your plate. As long as price stays above Stevie's red line, we don't have a guarantee of that, but if it does, then you're looking at 10,826. And again, above 10,826, then you'd be looking at 10,917 out there. So you just have to take this one step at a time, and those are the steps for the long NQ trade or the short NQ trade. This way, you know what to be looking for where you need to see a failure occur. So that is uh, that. We've got some questions, some additional questions that have rolled in here. Uh, this one coming from Marty. And uh, Marty wants to take a look at uh, Goldilocks out here. So, Marty, we're going to do that. Let's go take a look at all of the metals. Now, before we do that, um, before we do that, let me put up the uh, U.S. dollar index to the extent that that might influence uh, someone's thinking out here. So we're putting up the September contract for the U.S. dollar index. And you're going to see here uh, a potential, not a potential, it's an A to B equals CD down pattern. Price projection would have been 92.36. And the question is, will today's candle session be a bullish reversal signal out there? And at the, at the moment it is. Uh, if we do get that bullish reversal candle, then... Uh, let me get this chart going over here. Give me a second. Because uh, uh, what I want to do is calculate Stevie's red line. Because just like we've gone through out here with Ruby, now it's got you got to have a bullish reversal candle. And there's always a possibility at the end of the day, the end of today's trading session, we don't get that. And if we don't get that, then there is no A to B equals CD bottoming signal. Right now, it's a piercing candle. If it closes above yesterday's open, it'll become a bullish engulfing candle. But the real key here in the U.S. dollar index, you can see, is Stevie's red line. So the number is 9380. If price can close above 9380, that tells you about at least a a potential for a a bottom, at least more rally. 9667. 
seven would be the number. So you do have an absolute bottoming signal inside of Goldilocks out. I mean, inside of the U.S. dollar index, which is going to or could have some influence on the direction of precious metals out here. And so I thought, Marty, that that would be an important thing to share and something for everybody to pay attention to and to look at. So now let's slide over and take a look at uh, precious metals out here. Um, Steve, -O, where do you have that on my system? Okay, there. And let's come back and take a look at all of the futures contracts out here and any patterns that we might be able to identify, profiles, and so forth. So here's gold. Here you can see the uh, current contract, which is um, uh, which is now uh, the active contract is December out here. So December for you folks is going to be uh, right here, panel number three, the one that says Z on it, because that stands for December. <laughs> it does. Uh, so is there anything here that is helping us? Now, we've really got to go to Stevie's other charts to understand what's going on inside of the gold contracts. And that's what really Marty wants us to do. So let's go do that for Marty. And in the case of uh, what Marty's asking for, what we're going to see out here, is that right? Yeah. Um, God, it doesn't look right, but it is right. Let me just uh, reload. Um, hold on a second here. Let me just, I just want to make sure. Yeah, that is right. Okay, uh, good. Okay. I don't know what Stevie was thinking out here, but here's what we know. Today is going to be the bar following, bar number nine of a TD9 count. Geez, at the same time that the U.S. dollar index may be completing an A to B equals CD to the downside, which could have some directional influence on gold, and you have a valid topping pattern out here, Marty. So the high for Goldilocks may be in for the next couple of months. And I'm being dead serious. Now, how are we going to know? We probably have a fairly decent idea come Sunday night, Monday, really Monday's close. If price closes over today's high, whatever that high ends up being, right now that high, just so we know, that high is uh, 2,540. If there's a close above 2,540, then that negates the TD9 count pattern. But not until that happens out there. So at the same time the U.S. dollar index is giving us a signal, well, so too is the daily contract for, the, for, for gold. Now, on a 30-minute time frame, uh, we don't have to just stick with a 30-minute time frame. Do we have a topping pattern? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, you've got a TD9 count. That happened on a 30-minute basis to happen on the bar following bar number nine out there. Now, what price hasn't done is broken through support out here 1983.80 but if we do see a couple close below 1983.80 that's telling us about hey i'd like to go visit 1948 out there but it could be a signal of a impending change in trend now if we do see a close on monday above today's high out there then ain't no top at least not with regard to that pattern um and uh, regardless of whatever the u.s dollar index might do but you got now two one a topping one a bottoming pattern out there what about high ho silver if we take a look at silver what did it do it's completed a one to 1.272 a to b equals cd pattern what hasn't silver done it has not been able to close below stevie's green line 2339 folks i can't tell you why stevie's green line is just so valuable well, I can. Um, I'd just rather you experience it and see it. It's not a moving average out there. But my goodness, does it help us to understand what a retracement back to support is just a retracement or something different? 2339 is level silver needs to close below to say, okay, it's got its mojo to 2194 and 1965. Be careful out there. Platinum also has a sell the D point. Everything is lined up for a correction in precious metals. We'll be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. 
tfnn.com, educating investors. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, Ruby asked the question. Um, she asked the question, uh, Steve, correction in metals equals dollar higher equals index lower to the question mark. So the index, I guess you're talking about uh, gold, uh, Ruby. Uh, but just to finish it off. So uh, and, and again, everything is set up. Now what you want is you want the market to prove itself to us. How does it prove itself to us? Well, it proves itself in a couple of different ways. In the case of silver, the case of silver, price must close below Stevie's green line. You can see how that's acted as support. So 2339, right now, that's what the print is. That will be the first indication. Then you have levels of support. Well, in this case here, the levels of support are the daily profile. Then you've got the breakout levels, 1965, 1799. So, Ruby, much like we are taking a look at the 15-minute time frame out there for the NQ, we just have to take this one step at a time. We have to let each bar complete. If we don't let the bar complete, then we're... To, we're, we're saying that we know what the bar is going to look like. And I don't know the answer to that. I do know how to find a good bar, but I don't know how the bar is actually going to go ahead and actually complete, if you know what I mean. Now, we can look to the short term time frames for early signals out there. In the case of silver, here, if we take a look at it, we'd be looking for price to break or close below 2353. That's its TD9 count uh, breakdown level out there. So you can look for an early signal to maybe get you into the trade, much like the five minute for a 15 minute uh, chart out there. With regard regard to where gold would likely head to, so the levels to be looking for gold. Now, look, as I said, if price closes above the high of today on gold, in gold on Monday, then, then we don't have the, 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 the ideal topping signals in each of the precious metals contracts out there to suggest that it's perfect for a pullback because you got the dollar. Um, so, so here inside of gold, the give you the answer 1806 and 1766 out there are the breakout levels there are other profile levels that are trying to form out here but we'll just have to take things one step at a time and the first is you got to get past monday out there and see how things uh, respond now we took a look i didn't show you platinum i will show you platinum out here i believe we looked at it yesterday but we're going to look at it again today so every precious metal contract 
has a topping signal out here. Here is platinum. Here's your A to B equals CD. You can see it was perfect. A to B equals CD gets up to 992, creates that bearish reversal candle. It does that on the trading day of uh, July 29th and has been pulling back ever since. It's levels of support. You can see some trend lines. You can see the bottom or you can see the profile. So between 840 and 870 at this stage here, below 840, it's sayonara, adios, amigos with regard to platinum. So everything is lined up when we take a look at, uh, you know, are there topping signals? Very much like the markets that we trade right now. You can go across the globe, major markets, Asia, uh, Europe, the U.S., and everything has got a topping pattern with the exception of the semiconductor index out there. So we'll go take a look at that. But before we go take a look at the semiconductor index out here, let's go take a look at the XAU. Because in order to really have topping or bottoming signals and for it to be the perfect storm out here, well, you'd like to see the topping signals inside of the XAU as well. As we take a look at it, what does it have? It's got wave number seven. It's got the topping signal. Yesterday was a close below Stevie's green line. Today it's uh, flirting. We're trying to get back above it. What is the actual number out there? That's a great question. Sometimes it's hiding. If I put up my data box, uh, then we can try to figure it out. So the number to be watching, the ideal perfect storm, so to speak, would be the XAU closing below 153.65. You're at 154.45 out there. Even if it closes above that, it still has that topping signal of that seventh wave. So again, the perfect storm here for a correction to begin. Let's uh, let gold be the controller of the direction, uh, uh, whether or not that happens out here. And uh, we'll come back to it on Monday and see if prices uh, close closing is trading above really because the close above today's high whatever that ends up being out there so that's what i see ruby uh, and everybody else uh, marty when i take a look at uh to take a look at all of the um all of the metals out there and yeah platinum has a topping uh, pattern yeah it's got a topping pattern it's, it's it's really just that simple okay is it really that simple steve -o? no Oh, she's, uh, Ruby says, thank you, Steve. I was going to buy at settlement on platinum. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that. I don't think we want to do that. No, we do not want to do that. I mean, the charts are saying you don't want to do that because here's platinum. Look at that perfect A to B equals CD. Let me see if I can pull up uh, the October contract for platinum. I know I can't. I just got to find. Do it right here. But just uh, PL ten twenty. Does it pop? Ah, oh, she doesn't do it on that one. Okay. So now Stevie's got to come over here. PL ten twenty. Ah. Oh. Ah, sorry, Ruby. I, I. There's some. Let me try one more time. Um. My, my apology. I'm, I, there's something. Something whack, whack a doodle going on with my keyboard and my mouse. And of course, now we got a phone call coming in. Well, that's easy to take care of. We'll decline that one. And uh, let me see if I can get this mouse thing here working real quickly. This is the last time I'll make an attempt at it. And if not, we just have to go with this. Yeah, it's not, it's not going to work out right now, Ruby. But it, it, Here's what you just need to know. You can see the A to B equals CD. You can see the bearish reversal candle out here. And so just know that um, really the, the entry price, maybe an entry price would be about 870. But here's the deal, Rube. Um, if we do get the confirmation of uh, precious metals uh, making a retracement back to breakout support and so forth, we're going to have to really come back and take a look at this. So I, I would be very hesitant to uh, enter into a long trade in, in precious metals to hold over the weekend, not with all the signals that are out there. Just wait for the market to tell us what that uh, whether whether these tops are going to mean anything or not out there. So I hope that that helps you out. I don't have any other questions. Um, what I mean by that is I don't have any other email questions, and I don't believe there's anything else inside of the uh, Tiger's Den uh, just yet. So although, let's see, Mitch in France. Is that right? Uh, Mitch, are you in France? Is that what FR means out there? I don't know. It could mean something else. It could mean, you know, I don't know. Uh, I, 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 I hesitate to say what it could mean. But it says, uh, uh, do you take... Yeah, the TD9 set up in daily silver equally as a TD9 set up when candles 8 and 9 are higher than – no, no. So here's the question I believe. Let me pull over the – I didn't read the question really well, but I think let me – I think I understand the question out here. Switzerland, I love it. You're you, – you, we've – 
Finally, we've got Switzerland in the uh, den because that means we've got somebody totally neutral out here. Uh, I love that. And the question basically was, when I take a look at this TD9 count, um, and the question was, do I consider this a topping pattern? Is that, in essence, what you are asking because bar number seven made the high? The answer is no, I do not. I don't. That's not how Tommy, Dom, Tom, Mark uh, taught it. Um, that is also not how I use it. I need the bars eight, nine, or the bars following nine out there. That doesn't mean that this, and, and we don't even need to worry about that. Um, Mitch, I don't know if it's Mitch, MCH out there. Uh, we'll just call you Swiss Swiss cheese, Swiss chocolate. What do you, you prefer chocolate or cheese out there? Probably chocolate, dark chocolate, I'm hoping, out there. And then you and I, we could have a, uh, a diabetes fest. We just eat chocolate all day long. Hey, the big cheese. Hey, you know who else we could get on that one? Uh, we get uh, Tom O'Brien. Yeah, the two of us have a, a chocolate sweet tooth. Um, yeah, kind of like big time chocolate sweet tooth. Anyways, you had the key reversal session out there. That was the uh, topping signal for that A to B equals C D pattern. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll be right back. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, I don't know what you mean, Dylan's still open. Is there a caller on the line? Um, 
in any event, oh, Dylan's maybe the uh, the candy store. Oh, I know who you're talking about. You're talking about what's your name? Uh, uh, what's your name? Uh, uh, daughter, uh, Dylan. Jeez, uh, uh, Louise. What? Uh, what's her name? I mean, I know I, I can picture it. It's uh, Ralph Lauren's daughter, right? Isn't it Dylan Lauren? Lauren? I believe that has the uh, candy stores out there. I think that's I think that's what it is. In any event, uh, we were talking about I don't know what we were talking about, but inside the Tigers Den, talking about Coco, and I think Ruby is long. So Ruby, here you take a look at uh, Coco. It's right up at the high of its session right now and breaking out above some descending trend lines. The only thing that you've got to consider, my apology, this chart here that I'm going to show you is not updated today's candle out here, but today is going to be bar number nine of a TD nine count. So you just I would stay with this trade out here, but just know you know that uh, that you could see a top either today's high could be that but you're up at the top of the session out there usually bull markets don't end on candles like that so it would say you'd at least get the uh, next higher um you, you should get a higher high on uh, monday out there uh, and then of course if price closes over the top of uh the top of a td9 count then you're headed higher very much like us folks uh us us folks uh, like coffee uh, coffee is something that uh, subscribers and I are long. What got us into that trade was the Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom out here. Um, and right now we're gunning for the 122.75. A couple of days ago when this made that TD9 count pattern out there, again, it was the risk, hey, possibly uh, this could be a top. But then yesterday we had that nice move. It took that out. And that said, okay, uh, uh, caution has been averted. And that's the same thing we want to take a look at when we take a look at Goldilocks. It's the same thing. It's what we're looking at here inside of uh, the coffee contract. If gold closes above today's high on Monday, then we know it wasn't a 